we just we worked the ball down the down the field and um, Camille got it. I saw that he cut onto his right foot, and it's actually a sequence that we train all the time in training where um, he cuts onto his right and he looks to you know bend the ball back to that back post and um, you know. He did his job in getting the ball there. My job was to get on the end of it, and I did that, and you know, the ball flew in. In, in terms of, you know, it, it, gives you, you know, it gives you some momentum uh, as you level. But then, it, I guess, with, uh, in soccer, it can be strange like that sometimes. You can do so much in a half, and then just like that, it all goes away. How frustrating does that become, especially given when Orlando has seen? Yeah, for sure. Um, I think some losses hurt more than others, and I think this one that you know hurts especially just because of the performance that we put in the second half, and um, in the words of our coach, that there was only one team in the second half that was even on the field, and that was us. You know, I thought that we did a good job in creating and controlling the game. I thought that we defended a lot better in the second half, and yeah, obviously after leveling, I had the feeling myself that you know we'd get another one, we we'd go up and we win the game, and. Um, the fans were buzzing and they were definitely behind us, but you know, unfortunately that's soccer and they get the second and you know, albeit against the run of play, but um, you know, there are positives that we can take into to next week and we'll keep getting stronger and keep working and uh, you know, the next game will hopefully go in our favor. Um, when you talk about the, the next game, you only have seven more to go. And it's not like you can just pack it in and go golfing now or anything like that. What is the message moving forward, understanding that you need to have more wins than losses or draws at this point? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I feel like this is something that's been said by quite a few people just in the, you know, the Charlotte coaching staff and players on our team. But um, every game from now on until the end of the season is the final. And, um, you know, we're going to treat it as such and we're going to fight on the field. And, I mean, although we lost today, I thought that the boys, you know, exhibited that um, mentality tonight, you know, um, we were hungry to win and we showed that until the last minute and although we lost, you know, we'll keep that same mentality and we'll keep moving forward and we understand that, you know, the, the, the end of the season is coming and we don't have too much time, but, um, you know, we'll keep working and we'll stay together and keep treating every game as a final and, you know, hope that we win more than we lose and that we, we end up in the playoffs because the East is very tight and, you know, things happen very quick in this league. You know, you could lose two and, you know, be towards the bottom of the table, but you could win three games and all of a sudden you're sixth in the playoffs. So, um, you know, we recognize that and although tonight's loss hurts, you know, the season's not over. We're going to keep working and, and striving and pushing and hopefully we meet our goals. Uh, you, say, you say that there are some positives that you can take away from this game. What are those positives? Uh, I think the intensity that we played with in the second half and, you know, just the desire and the willingness that we exhibited. Um, everybody wanted to win and you saw that, you know, in every single player, the fans were behind us and um, I thought that we were dangerous. We created a lot and, you know, we pushed forward and uh, um, unfortunately we couldn't get that second goal. But um, I thought there was, a, you know, an intensity and a desire that was there in the second half and um, we're going to take that with us to the next game. Even with today's result, do you think that the team turned a corner on Wednesday? Uh, in New York? Yeah. Absolutely. Um, you know, we haven't won too many games on the road this year, and um, I think that New York was huge, especially after, you know, that defeat in L.A. Uh, against a very good team. But um, I think that there were phases in the game where we were up against it, especially in the first half. There was maybe, you know, 20 or 30 minutes where we were defending, you know, deep in our own half. Um, but we showed that, you know, we can weather that storm and if we, we keep pushing, we keep fighting for each other, that we're going to get chances towards the end of the game, which we did. Um, and I thought that we did that, you know, tonight at times, but um, that game in, in Wednesday, you know, it showed us that we can play against really good teams in this league and um, we can give anybody a game. So, um, yeah, I'd, I'd say that we, we definitely turned a corner and we're going to keep taking that with us. And um, we tried to tonight and I think that we put our, our best foot forward. Unfortunately, we didn't get the result, but um, we'll keep pushing. Charlotte would have exploded if Brant's goal went in? Uh, yeah, I would have exploded myself. Yeah, yeah, totally. All right, also physically, are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. I uh, got an x-ray. Everything's good. Um, I'll take it easy for a day, but I'll be back on the field soon. What was the injury? What? Uh, like high ankle sprain. Okay. Yeah, foot got twisted up, but I'm fine. Gotcha. All right, you guys Thanks take care.
Appreciate it.